Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, something that I kind of uh, take for granted, I guess, but the average ho homeowner may not. Um, now, if you can imagine, this is a relief valve. It's number 22. They banned these relief valves, and now I can see why. Um, more so than ever before. Found this on the top of a hot water tank, and female adapter, this female adapter was screwed onto the outlet of the hot water tank. Picture that. Um, up to the other female adapter, the valve was screwed into it, then through the male adapter and out through the copper. This was not piped to the floor. We actually went th across up into the ceiling. When I first looked at it, I couldn't believe my eyes. But uh, how they did it, they must have put it together and actually heated it to me melt the, uh, the link inside there. That's the only way that I could possibly see this working. But I cannot emphasize enough about relief valves. Now whether it's a relief valve on an electric hot water boiler, um, electric hot water tank, an oil fired hot water tank, a gas uh, heater, it doesn't make any difference. Relief valves um, are a mandatory thing and if a relief valve is leaking don't plug it. There's a reason that it is leaking and I've you're, you're basically talking um, about having a bomb is what you're having there if you plug a relief valve off and there has been a few places where there's been serious explosions actually for, for that reason so I'm just stressing this um, I can't stress it enough I guess but I'm stressing it right now relief valves have a purpose so don't do anything like this now that they banned these thank goodness for that they, uh, they use the, the 10L's in the hot water tank watts majority of them that's what you'll come across or a uh, say a 335 for example on a, a boiler um, these valves are all there for a safety reason so they should be piped six inches down off the floor but never plug or reduce a uh, relief valve now just something that uh, I've come across the last little bit I've got a number of people actually say it but uh, I know in a few videos you'll see say it's um, in the southern climate where they don't get any freezing or whatever I've noticed on a few videos that people are running PEX for example through their attic that's fine in places where you don't have any freezing um, here in the northern section and northern part of the states in Canada and across in Europe as well um, running a piece of PEX in the attic and putting insulation on it isn't going to prevent it from freezing unless it, the water is flowing through it steady um, the insulation is used for either keeping things cool or keeping things warm and once your water is shut off whether it be copper or PEX your water is shut off the insulation is going to get as cold as the air and it will go in and the pipes will freeze and split PEX uh, majority of them won't split. I haven't tested them all. But there's a video coming shortly. But this is something that you uh, want to stay away from. Down southern section, that's great where the uh, temperature doesn't go below freezing. But up in the northern climate, this is something that I would 100% stay away from. Uh, like I say, the insulation is great, but going uh, through your attic. Um, you're going to end up with trouble down the road. You can use PEX, it'll freeze, and in three months' time, you'll get your water back. Uh, copper, if you run it in the attic, insulate it, it's going to freeze and split, and you're going to get your water in your house um, when the spring arrives. So, that's just a little tip that I'd throw out there. You cannot put water lines in your attic if you are living in the in the section of the world where it freezes. So, how did I pass that on? Anyway, 
Have a great day.